Hello students, this uh, video is about velocity time graphs for different situations. Uh, previous to that, uh, in video of position time graph, we have discussed three situations. Those are for stationary object, for uniform motion and for uniformly accelerated motion. But here in case of velocity time graph, uh, we have only two situations that is for uniform motion and for uniform accelerated motion. As for a stationary object, the velocity of the object will be zero and there is no relevance to discuss velocity time graph for a stationary object due to that. So here we are going to see graphs for two cases, first for uniform motion and second for uniformly accelerated motion. So let us start with the first case that is velocity time graph for uniform motion. So now we we are going to plot velocity time graph out of these two velocity and time. Time is independent and velocity is changing with respect to time means velocity depends on time. So we are going to plot graph between velocity and time with time on x axis that is the independent variable and velocity on y axis. So on x axis I am going to take time and on y axis I will be taking velocity. Okay. So when an object has uniform motion it moves with uniform velocity in the same fixed direction. So I am assuming that that object has some velocity v. We have an object which are which is moving with uniform velocity v that means a same velocity in the same fixed direction. So in this case if I take two different instants for example the time t1 and time t2 in both the cases at both instants the velocity of the object will remain same that is v and again v for t2. So it implies that the graph for uniform motion between velocity and time is going to be a, a straight line parallel to the time axis and this shows that throughout the motion means throughout the time the velocity remains same in the fixed direction that only means that object is moving in uniform motion. So for a uniform motion we have a velocity in the same fixed direction throughout the motion and the graph for that is a straight line parallel to the time axis as shown in the graph here. Now if I plot these lines for time t1 and time t2 then I get a rectangle this a b c d is a rectangle that I get under the graph for time t1 and time t2 means uh, between the time instant t1 and t2 the velocity of the object of the moving object is v that is denoted by the line ab. So now I am trying to find the area under this velocity time graph between times t1 and t2. Let us see what we get. So I, we are trying to find the area of the graph under the graph between the time instants t1 and t2. So this is the shaded region that we are going to find. So it is a rectangle and we know that the area for rectangle is length into breadth. So area under velocity time means vt graph for time instant between t1 and t2 t1 and t2 ke beech ka jo time range hai uske usme jitna graph hai uske under ka area we are calculating and it will be area of rectangle a b c d that means a d into c d length into breadth now if we see the graph this line a d a d is the difference between 0 and v so this is v and cd 
CD is difference between T2 and T1 that means this is T2 minus T1. So basically we are getting velocity into the time of motion the time that we consider and velocity into time we know that it is displacement. So from this calculation what we conclude is the area under velocity time graph gives the displacement of object in the given time interval. This much area represents the displacement that object shows when it moves from time t1 to time t2 within time interval t1 and t2 jitna wo object displacement show karega that displacement we can calculate from velocity time graph by finding the area under the graph in between that time range in or the time interval so this is the velocity time graph for uniform motion now let's move to the second one that is uniformly accelerated motion so second graph that we are going to plot is for uniformly accelerated motion. Now again this is a velocity time graph so we are going to plot our independent variable that is time on x axis and dependent variable that is velocity on y axis so this is how this graph works x axis pe hum lenge time and on y axis we are going to take velocity so for a uniformly accelerated motion body is moving such that its velocity is changing but that change in velocity is in equal amounts in equal intervals of time that is the meaning of uniformly accelerated motion means there is acceleration velocity is changing but the change in velocity is same in same interval of time so this we have to keep in mind and because of this means because of this equal amount of change in equal intervals of time the graph that we will get will be a straight line that is inclined to the time axis. So we are assuming that initial velocity with which the body starts moving is V0 and from this velocity this body starts moving in such a way that it change its velocity by equal amounts in equal intervals of time that means from here we are going to get a straight line like this inclined at the time axis. This is the origin and the graph that we will get is a straight line that is inclined on time axis by some angle theta we are assuming that angle theta okay so now here we are going to find the slope of this graph and we'll check what the slope of this velocity time graph represents so for that I am assuming two instance again that is t1 so t1 I am taking here this is t1 and the velocity corresponding to t1 lat v1 okay again for the second instant let it be t2 this is the second instant t2 and the velocity for the, this instant is v2 so v1 is the velocity at t1 let it be point p and v2 is the velocity at the time t2 let it be point q ab is the line that we are getting in the graph and we are assuming that this line is inclined at an angle theta with x axis like this means if we produce it back then it makes an angle theta with x axis so same angle it will make here with the horizontal line so this is theta theta represents the angle at which this line inclined with the time axis or x axis now we are going to find the slope of this graph so slope of velocity time graph can be given as tangent of its theta or tan theta now to find tan theta we are going to use this right triangle let it be capital R so tan theta ko we can write QR upon PR 
that is perpendicular upon base for qr means this is the value that means q is v2 r is v1 so qr will be v2 minus v1 for pr this is on time so t1 and t2 that means pr is t2 minus t1 that means tan theta or the slope of the graph is equal to change in velocity upon t2 minus t1 means time interval that we consider and change in velocity upon time interval represents acceleration so we conclude that the slope of graph or the slope of velocity time graph for a uniformly accelerated motion gives the acceleration of the object so for uniform motion by using velocity time graph we can find the displacement and for uniformly accelerated motion by using velocity time graph we can find the acceleration displacement is the area under the graph and acceleration is the slope of the graph so that was the velocity time graph for a moving object if it is in uniform motion or if it is in a uniformly accelerated motion so that was all about the velocity time graph for further for further videos stay tuned and keep studying thank you